the silly argument that uh, is made. That, uh, the Bible says the world's flat. This is a, this is a silly argument, it really is. Nowhere in the Bible does it say the world is flat. Nowhere in the Bible. Oh, you get verses quoted at you. No. But, uh, if you go back and you look at them verses, what are the, what are they talking about? What's really going on? And they're saying to the end of the earth four corners of the earth. What are they really saying when they're saying that? What are they really saying when they're saying that? You know what they're really saying when they're saying that. They're not saying the world's flat. You know they ain't. Read it. Read the context. man's known the world round for modern science the world was round I'm not saying disc because they say there's ends to the earth Four corners. I've been to four corners. See no edge. How do you plot your position on a map? Globe? You use angular coordinates. Don't you? East, west? Yeah. Prime meridian somewhere. Prime meridian. Say, side of the globe. Prime meridian. East meets West. We come with some from a separate hemisphere, don't we? Look up the, the word corner. And look up the word angle. Don't be silly. Don't just take what you hear from some professor somewhere, some kind of fact. Look at it to yourself. Get both sides of this argument, you know, there's two sides to these, these things.
the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament, and the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Now I just need to get some more of that stuff out about ancient civilizations and floods and all this stuff about dragons I've been working on. Peace, love, and understanding be with you all.